Chrome Freak 123, KW Gunworks, Southern Yankee Guns, AmmunitionDepot.com. All right, real quickly, George, this is for you, brother. I blasted. Actually, I blasted a Kimber, which is right there, but at the same time, I'm going to Duracoat that Kimber. We are going to be Duracoating your frame right there. There's your Glock 4 Generation 4 21. And we're going to be doing it in the yeah, Tactical Dark Earth right there. Just to show you a difference, this is uh, let me shake it a little bit. That is Tactical OD Green, so you can get a kind of a different. If you could see it with the lighting in here, the difference in them, and then you got black right there. But yeah, I'm going to be dirt coating. Actually, too, it's kind of coincidence. I'm doing another Glock 21 also for another customer. That's going to be the OD Green, Tactical Dark Earth, Dark Earth, the slide on the Kimber the same, and then all the parts down there I'll be doing in black right there. Uh, it's my airbrush. And by the way, oh, I dropped it. I hook it to a scuba tank. We have a dive shop next door. Sorry about that, guys. I had a dive shop next. We have a dive shop next door, and he rigged me up a tank with the regulator right here. That puts me out about 20 pounds of pressure, and it's awesome. It's it's perfect for airbrushing, and that's how I put this on. I airbrush it on, and I just get set up over here. I do my painting over here. I got my racks. You can see the old paints back there in the background. I'll give you another idea. There's a, a desert tan type of color. So if you can see the black, desert tan, dark earth, OD green. So you're getting the OD green or the tactical dark earth, George. I uh, just wanted to make this video real quick and give you a, a before. There's yours before. Another Glock 21 Kember, which uh, aluminum frame. Over here, come back over here, my blast tank, and I got two buckets right here. And the way I rig this uh, blast tank up is you can rig it up with the pipe down there that will regenerate and keep circulating whatever you're blasting. But I use two different medias. I got 80 grit uh, glass bead, you probably can't see down in there, and then I got aluminum oxide in this one. And when you're um, dirt coating aluminum, you want to use aluminum oxide, it gives the dirt coat something to really cling to. But if you can look, it gives it a really neat look. You can see it, I'm not sure. Anyways, this is the beginning of the video. I'll film a little bit more after I get the frames, uh, at least the first coat or two on them. And then we'll check back and I'll show you the finished product. All right, we'll be back. Cool. All right, George, i just starting your um, your Glock 21. This is the um, flat dark earth, tactical dark earth is the actual color it's called. As you can see, I'm just starting. I was thinking about not doing the serial number, but it looked better doing it, so I decided to go ahead and do it. If you see what I'm talking about, nothing will stand out there. You can still read the number very easily. It probably won't come in. But as you can see, I'm just getting started on this. And hold it, hold it a little further away. There. Can you see? Nice even stroke. I love this airbrush setup I got. Get everything inside. Got everything um, prepped. The surface is prepped really good. Hope you can hear me with the stupid mask on. Uh, but I'll hold it in my hand as much as I can because it's easier, easier to maneuver. Then I'll stick it over here on my rack. You can see the Kimber already got started on it. And the frame's got its first coat on. And this is your first coat on your Glock 21. So I think you're going to be real happy with the color. It looked greenish, but until you got it on and drying, it's actually coming out really nice, huh, Ian? Yeah, it looks good. All right, man. We'll check back in with you, George. Okay, guys. I am done Duracoat. Let me see. Let me turn this light on. Hold on. I see a little bit better. Probably not. Anyway, the OD Green Glock 21 uh, Kimber. That is the what color. Were we again? Tactical Dark Earth. Glock 21 and Tactical Dark Earth. And Glock 19, Tactical Dark Earth. Kimber Slide. And just the all all the parts that um, I hit with black. Um, that'd be a matte black when it dries. You know, I have to do a spray and just do it where it comes out. The, you can't see it. There you go. Um, yeah. So just giving you an idea of where we stand now. Today is Saturday, uh, midday. I I'm done now. I'm done doing all the touch up. Done doing all of it. And what I will do is I'll let these sit right there over the weekend and cure. 
so I won't touch them till we get back on Tuesday. I oh, just wanted to give you an update on your gun. Let me move these over a little bit. See if you can get a good look at it, but there she is. I do everything. I do the insides. I do it all as much as I could hit. Okay, we'll get back with you guys on Tuesday when these are back together and uh, show you the finished products. All right, see ya. Okay, brother. We got your sights. This will be going on your frame. I mean, on your slide, which I'm going to leave all the factory grease in. I'll let it break in. I'm a true believer, and I'm going ahead and allowing that to, uh, to break in with that. Here is your beautiful frame, and it came out, man. I mean, really, really nice. I think you're going to really be happy with it. And uh, you're putting the parts all back in right here, all factory parts, brand new gun. I think you're really going to enjoy this. Um, I'll get back to you after I get everything put together, and um, we'll put the video together like that. All right, we'll see you. Hello YouTube, k Gun Gunworks, Southern Yankee Guns, Chrome Freak 123, we got Wes over there. How you guys doing? Uh, just wanted to show you something, that one of Mike's creations. Uh, it's the new Glock. Flat girth. Very nice. It's a Model 21. It's a Model 26. 19. 19, excuse yep. me. Yep. 19. Uh, George Manos, I want to do a shout out to you. Your gun's just finished. This is your gun. We're sending out to you in Maryland. I'm sure you're going to really like this gun. There you go, George. Mike did a hell of a job on this gun. I don't even know if I want to sell it to you now. I want to keep it. <laughs> it is it's nice. A, this is one of Mike's uh, better paint jobs. He usually takes them over to Earl Shy, but he did this one himself. <laughs> a, did it myself, yeah. A brush he bought from J.C. Penney's and some <laughs> nail polish. But it really came out nice, buddy. It did. It came out beautiful. And one, we were going to... Go ahead. I'm sorry. One other gun I wanted to show you, too. This is something unique. This happens to be a SIG, but if you, I hope you can see the color of it. It's like a black bronze copper tone finish. It's beautiful. With a... You'll notice the mask on that. Uh, Mike, you really that something too? unique, limited no, edition. Uh, we've got a few of them that came in, but they're really nice. But Mike, you did a wonderful job with these. Even though you're gay, it's all right. Yeah, you see that? You see that right there? That's actually. And by the way, that's I, what the GBG mentioned. The gang wears. Life. That's the that's the face mask. Yeah, that, G, yeah, oh, that GBG, is the face GBG. mask you wore when GBG. we when we were GBG, talking. GBG, gay boys gang. <laughs> no, gay boy gangster. Gangster, <laughs> excuse me. Oh, uh, by the way, I didn't know. Mike will be going away next month to Gay Pride again <laughs> out, in, uh, out in Nevada. That's in September. He's got a, he we'll got, up, a, he got a new sundress. We'll be marching. John, you'll love it because it's, it's backless right down to his that, butt. That's right. And I'll be wearing a thong and uh, we'll be marching in the parade yes, in Reno. <laughs> guys, I'm going to say goodbye because i got a lot of work to do. But I, yeah, we, I really we're all wanted busy. you to see these two guns. Mike, you did a wonderful yeah. job. Well, it was Brandon actually seen me painting yours and seen the color of it, and he wanted his done, and that 19 yeah. is actually Brandon's. Yeah, this um, is gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, come out really nice. Yeah, he did Brandon's. Brandon's got his uh, little firefighter emblem on the back. We're doing those, too. Yeah. Uh, a few other, Mike did a wonderful trigger job to this gun. Thank you. It's like glass. It is. It's a nice. It's a nice. So gun. I just wanted to show you these. We're going to be doing a couple more. I think one. We're going to try an olive drab one. Absolutely. And we might do a uh, something in a a pink gun for a couple of our nice friends that will like pink. <laughs> I'll bring that out to Reno with me. Yeah, definitely. We'll <laughs> bring it out to you, uh, John. Jim. Yeah. Yeah, John. John, yeah. he wants you to have that specially. Yeah, yeah, my gift to John. All right, guys, we'll end right, this real quick. Uh, I got a lot of editing to do to put this together, but thank you guys for watching. If y'all got any um, guns you want Duracoated or or you want to buy them from us brand new like that, and we'll customize them for you, give us a call. 561. Any, any color, any size. That's right. 561-865-5426. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Okay, guys, this is the Kimber that I also had painted and showed you the slide in the frame and the parts um, everything from the trigger there mag release takedown pin hammer uh, beaver tail grip safety <clears throat> mainspring in the back all dura coated in black 
and the rest of the gun is in the tactical um, the hell let me see it again let me get the exact name of it I want to get it right the tactical dark earth well I'm done with the gun and everything's dried up it cured over the weekend I put everything back together <laughs> I hit it with the best stuff in the business right there Rusty's rags man okay put some hogue rubber grips on it the original wood grips um, he's gonna he wanted uh, he wanted new grips on there so we got those on and there you go just wanted to touch bases and show you what we got I think it looks good it came out really nice um, went ahead and buffed up the the barrel too it had some rust on it looks good brand new again real nice gun the only thing I didn't touch uh, well I took them off and put them back on were the sights but I didn't re-blow them or do anything to those alright guys that's it See ya.